All right, you go first. You, oh, asps, very dangerous. You go first. <laughs> For Elise. And everyone else. Hello, and welcome back to the Confluence Taproom for another Bureau Week release video. I'm Josh, the production manager, and I'm joined by... Matt, cellar dweller. Still. And if Matt's here, then it means that we're talking about a wizard, or... Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> or something batch better. Yeah, your favorite. <laughs> something bigger. Beers. Yep, yep. So we have another batch beer, another uh, hazy double IPA. Mm -hmm. yep. 1810. Yeah, here, can we get into it? Yeah, for sure yep. we can. Before we, I mean, yeah. you know. So this one, this one is kind of uh, patterned after uh, some of my favorite hops. Features Nectaron, which is sort of one of the new, the new uh, it girl out of New Zealand. And then Nelson Savon, which is my actual favorite hop. Mm -hmm. And it's anchored by Columbus, which is definitely in my top five. Uh, so. Lots of pineapple, lots yeah. of orange. Um, I've been trying to figure out what that, what is it? Well, when looking up names, like where the names came from, mm -hmm. I say peach for nectar on yep. I'm like, yep, yep, that's it. Yep, peach, uh, definitely, little stone fruit, uh, and then funky and dank mm -hmm. from the Columbus, and then the Nelson provides like a little diesel, and I know diesel doesn't sound good, but in the context of like a hop aroma, it, is, it can be quite nice. And I like it because to me, it gives it an anchor of, this isn't just some like fruity sweet drink, like it's hops, it's it's boozy. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's got. And it'll it'll change. Oh, sure. It, and you pick up different flavors. Yeah, I, I give it a big thumbs up. Good, well you heard it here. Yeah. And what else you can also mm. hear is some facts. Some because facts. I mean, you know, you're like, oh. <laughs> Oh God, well, I'll skip this one. Or you'll be like, oh wow, I'll learn something. Yeah. All right, so did you know, we were talking about Nelson and Nectaron. So I thought, oh wow, cool. It's named after Horatio Nelson, one of the greatest Britons, you know, Battle okay. of Trafalgar. Yep. No, it's not. It's um, <laughs> from the region that the hops are grown. Um, Nelson, New Zealand, uh, and the grape Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, I'm sure you knew that. Okay, but I knew about this. I didn't know the region was Nelson. Yeah, was called Nelson, but it is named after the Sauvignon Blanc because, in addition to some pineapple notes, it tends to carry a little uh, white wine type of character to the hop too. Well, I thought Nectaron must be named after like a Green Lantern villain. It, it's, right, it's yeah, not. Natu that's a natural that's assumption <laughs> that most people would make. Yeah. Um, it is named <laughs> after Dr. Ron Beetson, who was the brand ambassador for New Zealand hops. It takes his name and combines it with Nectar of the Gods. So Nectar oh, okay. Ron or Nectar Ron. Yeah. So there you go. That's, I figured it was like Nectar or some way because right. it does have that like that peach a little bit of like uh, citrus, like kind of yeah. like juiciness to it. But yeah, okay, all right. There you go. So, <laughs> it's named after this Green Lantern villain. Yeah. That <laughs> oh, really? Oh, cool. Every brewer loves Green Lantern. It's a fact. <laughs> I do. Uh, all right, so um, uh, Napoleon was acting like a little jerk, uh, and he dissolved and occupied Holland. That was kind of... Was kind I didn't of know he dissolved it. Yeah, occupied it and then was like, yeah, it's not a country anymore, it's 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 mine. Classic Napoleon. And then he, you know... Did that, yeah. Like that, probably. <laughs> um, okay, but probably the most important thing that happened in 1810, uh, Ludwig van Beethoven composed Fur Elise, um, or For Elise, on April 27th, 1810. It won't be published until 40 years after his death, which was in 1827, but he composed it that year. Um, the identity of Elise is unknown, um, and the piece has multiple versions that exist depending upon which transcription was done. Well, that's a good dose of math facts. Yeah. 
And some decent ones this time, not like yeah. other crappier years. Much like this beer. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess grab a four pack of 1810 and listen and to this. Yeah, yeah. I dare you. I dare you to go find this and listen to it. You'll know because it's playing on this right now, I'm sure. Um, you, <laughs> I did not Just calling know. calling Tom out. I, I was literally sitting looking through last night finding facts and Joe goes well uh, you gotta include this I'm like yeah who cares he goes no and he pulled up Spotify boop, 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 you didn't know played this, it didn't I did know not the know the name, name. Okay, no yeah yeah it was extremely extremely famous it wasn't yeah. you know it doesn't have got real vocals that's true it's screaming not, guitar it was metal for its day though that's I'm the thing sure, you have to yeah. remember <laughs> yeah, <it's> really metal <laughs> All right, guys, get down here this weekend, pick up some 1810, try some Becca's Trifecta, enjoy the patio, come down and see us. Cheers. Cheers.